Welcome to Soda Geeks. I'm Devin. I'm Connor. So this is the last of the special episodes featuring sodas. Excuse me, that I bought on our trip to Germany through Germany, the Netherlands, and Czech Republic. So this first one is a German uh, cola that was all over the place with many flavors, and that is Fritz Cola. And it even sounds very German, Fritz, you know, it's out of Hamburg. And then this one is from the Czech Republic, and it's, I'm probably not going to pronounce this right, but it's uh, Kofala. And, uh, oh, just as a warning, it does say Lemonada Coppola. Oh so it's gosh. another one of those Rattler, you know, another one of those mixes. Maybe we should do that one first. That one? This one. Yeah. And, and maybe, hopefully, Fritz is a... No. Oh, nope. <laughs> Caffeine Haltiger Lemonada. Really, Dad? <laughs> I'm telling you, You're it's disappointing. popular. It's popular. I did not even, and it's not a pop. It's not a screw cap. I need a something. I need a. I'll go get it. So, yeah, a whole bunch of these colas and sodas came from the Czech Republic. They had all kinds, from all nationalities and so forth. All right. I did not. Imbecile. Did not. Well, I now that I. Well, that's hard to read, especially because it doesn't even say it on like the front or anything. And now that I actually didn't know about this one. I knew the Fritz was, and I totally spaced it. I got this one because most of them say Fritz, whatever, Barry, Fritz, whatever. Yeah. This one said Cola. So, all right, we're gonna try the Coppola first. It says original on it. That's a weird smell. It's not bad, but it's like. Oh, now I'm almost <laughs> thankful that these are going to be over, you know. We've done so many of these mixed ones. Ew, that is gross. Oh. Uh. Yes, that is not good. That's not pleasant. That's probably the worst one of the ones <laughs> we've had. I don't know, that Red Bull Cola, man. Uh, uh. I mean, of the lemon or the fruit slash yeah uh, cola mixed ones. That is gross. Um, it's it doesn't taste like cola or lemonade. It, it tastes just like say. chemically. Yes, it's just like, yes. There you go. It just tastes like he chemicals. That is gross, dude. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna finish this cup. I got a tiny amount, and I still. I'll, I'll finish it. Ugh. I'll do my due diligence and my duty, but uh, yeah, it's it's. You can very much taste that it's. It, I assume it's artificial flavors. It, I could be wrong, but it just does not taste pleasant. It, ta it tastes chemically. It tastes, it's got a weird, almost berry-ish aftertaste. Almost berry, but. Yeah, you're right. Tastes like a strong blackberry. What do you think? But a chemical blackberry, you know, like a, an artificial flavor. I don't know. It's not good. I don't know. I'm almost there. I might be able to. Yeah, that's not getting a big passing score from me or anything. That's... So you want to rate it now or rate it later? Look, we've been rating them at the end. I know. So whatever. Although it's fresh in my mind now, so I'll, I'm going to give that a 1.5. Uh, I was just going to go with a 1, but 1. 1.5, that seems... 
Yeah. One and 0.5, those tip tend to get saved for the ones that actually make me feel like I'm going to throw up or something, you know? Okay, so 1.5. But... Okay. I mean, what would a zero be? The bacon soda? Did we rate that a zero? I rated that a zero. I, and I can't remember. I might have I might have rated it 0.5 just for the uh, gimmick of it, mm -hmm. but... I'll be right back. I need to go. Uh, can you finish this off real quick then? No. Really? Dump it and we'll continue and get new ice. Time's wasting. All right. Ugh. Hopefully that stuff doesn't contaminate this too much with the ice and stuff. Hopefully this is better. This is Fritz. That this is all over Germany. Don't let us down. It smells good. That's a that's a pretty heavy cola. It's good though. You're right. I don't taste the lemonade at all. Or lime. No, it's just like cola. You're right. I mean, that's what I'm tasting. It, it's decent. It's good. Yeah. It tastes like RC to me. That's what it really tastes like. I can. I can see what you're saying. I catch a hint of that right in the when you first mm -hmm. start throwing it down. There's that slightly bolder taste that RC yeah. has. Yeah. You know, RC tends to have a little more, there's a little bit of punch in the flavor, you know. And uh, some people may or may not like that because it's not like a smooth, mild, you know. So I, 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 I taste that, but um, it's good. It is. Yeah. Definitely, probably better than it would have been if we had this first. It tastes the same. Yeah, I don't taste the lemonade at all. It's right, it's right, it's written on there. Or no, it's good. It's just a cola. Yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised. I was dreading that. No, that's good. Way to go, Fritz. Uh, I didn't get, I didn't try any other flavors of Fritz. And they were, there was many. And they were, you know, the la the label was like appropriate for the color. You know, the color was appropriate for the flavor or whatever. And so, uh, they were really bright. But, uh, I saw them all over, but. Did you see anybody walking down the street drinking them? No. Do you see them in cans? I did not see them in cans. I don't know that they do. Do they drink they sodas in cans? Yes, they had sodas in cans, but they were mostly your standard Coke Light, Coca Cola. Coke Light? Instead of Diet Coke, they have Coke Light. Like no. the green one? No, that's Coke Life. Okay. Coke Light. There's a Coke Light can right over there um, in my display. So you know, there's the Buzz Cola. Mm -hmm. That one right, okay. The silver one. It's just the place of Diet Coke. It's very similar. I actually really like the play, the taste of Coke Light though. Instead of zero calories, it says less than one calorie. I'm not <laughs> sure what the difference is, but um, they have, even when you go to the Middle East and stuff, that's their version of Diet Coke. Mm. So I'll have to try it. I don't know if it wouldn't sell here or if they maybe there's something in the chemical makeup of it that's not allowed to be here. I don't know. But uh so the Fritz is, is good. You want one more? Uh sure. Wow, a little more. Not even there was only a splash. Yeah. So that's a solid four for me. I'm going to give it a 3.5. I can understand that. You want to save the higher ones for ones you really, really yes. like. Sure. I could almost go 3.5, but I'll stick with the 4. Just because I'm so... That extra 0.5 might just be from the juxtaposition also, from I, this I was, one. That's what I was about to say. I was going to say that 0.5 probably would have been because <laughs> this was so horrible that that one was better. So this, there's one candy that we're only having just because we have them and aren't, haven't touched them yet. They're not cola related like all our other candies have been. But uh, Connor has not yet tried Stroop Waffles, which is uh, a Dutch 
standard, and they're very delicious. And hopefully they're not stale or anything. Hopefully they... Really? I would hope they would be. No, stale. Yeah, like crispy. Oh, no, they're not. Stroop waffles are not crispy. They're they're good. They're like little waffles with a little bit of uh, caramel mm, inside. So good. And they are delicious. I'm going to take a bite. Wow. These are really good. We came home with two bags of them just because they were good. Mm. Although, I have heard that there are some places where you can find Stroopwafels here. I should go out and find some. They're good. Mm. Now, what they often do there in the Netherlands is they slightly warm them up. And then they're kind of gooey inside, the caramel. They'll either just microwave them for like five seconds or whatever. Or real common is when you get like hot tea or hot coffee, they'll give you a tiny little stroop waffle and you set it and you just set it on top of their hot coffee mm -hmm. and it warms it up. The steam That's smart. warms it up a little bit. It's still really messy good. though. These are good though. I'm dropping mess all over. Can I have another one when I'm done with this one? Yeah. Okay. These are good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. okay. On the package, it even tells you take your stroop waffle, put it over your cup of coffee. <laughs> It shows and let it sit there on your copy. This particular one we bought more for the tin. What this is from the Van Gogh Museum. Stroop waffles? Yeah. It just says syrup, syrup waffle, but it's called Stroop waffles. S T R O O P, I think. Here, there you go. And I guess that translates as syrup waffles. Stroop waffles, oh yeah. But uh, I got, we bought this, uh, it was one of the souvenirs from the Van Gogh Museum. I said, hey, we'll be able to take home some stroop waffles and they'll be in a nice protective Van Gogh painting tin to uh, protect them. So. That was one of the things we did there. Van Gogh is my favorite Renaissance painter. No, sorry, he wasn't Renaissance. I'm talking out of my butt. He's my favorite of the uh, Impressionists, I guess, in his era. So. Is that your second one? Yeah, okay. And I'll have some more of the fritz, which is good. I can tell I'm going to be addicted to these. Go home. Mom, mom, mom. One of the few foreign candies that can't be found at the commissary where I find a lot of them. Because there's no Dutch section. There's a German section. They've got British. And almost anywhere where there's like a lot of uh, bases. But uh, there's no bases in... The Netherlands is too, it's too small, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to go live there just to buy these. Beautiful country. If you could find a way to live there, more power to you. I want to I want to live in Paris. One of the Paris, places I've France. still never been. No, I thought you meant Paris, Texas. So... I don't know that we have to rate the Stroop waffles because it's an unofficial thing. They're yeah, not cola flavored. We're rating them. But I, I give it a, at least a solid 4.5. I'm giving it a 5 straight. You could, I could almost do that as well. They're very good. And I warm them up just a hair and they're even better. So. Yeah, I was going to say. I've almost never eaten them that way. I think I've only tried it once. They're just fine like this to me. Hmm. But uh, anyway... 
Until next time, we encourage you to enjoy a good soda this week.